hi guys welcome back to the channel this is my first time ever coming up here to do this please guys bear with me if i don't act right <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel it's a girl ready here and in today's video i'm back again with a new tutorial how to show you guys how to make this shit now a subscriber on my channel i don't know if i can i'll put her name on the screen she said please can you show us how to create a shirt i hope i got that right she sent that message three months ago so girl this video is for you i'm very sorry it's coming late so guys this tutorial is going to be very detailed from how i made the collar and also how i made the button holes using my normal sewing machine and also how i made these sleeves everything is inside this tutorial so guys if you like what i what i'm wearing and you want to learn how to make this definitely keep on watching now thank you so much to every single person that has subscribed shared my videos leave me a, a very nice comment i've seen all of those things and i really appreciate it our channel is now monetized so thank you so much guys for all your contributions now that means that every single ad that's going to be running on my channel now contributes or now pays me some token <laughs> or some amount of money so guys please just to support the channel please try and watch the ads so to support your girl if you have any question let me know in the comment section so i will share more of my face so that you guys will see me okay so let me know if you want to be seeing more of my face at the beginning of the video if you don't want to i'll stick to the what to what i used to do before so that's it hi guys welcome back to the channel so in making a shirt what we're going to do is these are the things that we are going to need to make that shirt so what I have with me here is normal cotton fabric. It is not stretchy at all, just normal pure cotton fabric. So you can have this in any color of your choice. Then you have your pattern paper because you have to draft here first before we transfer. Then your, your rulers, your marker, your scissors, and then your tape. So once you have all this, let's begin. So let's begin by marking out our starting points at the beginning here. So next thing I'm going to do is to mark from my shoulder to my bust is 10 inches. From my bust to my waist is 16 inches. Then from there to my hip is 25 inches. So I'm going to mark the same thing out here and I'm going to rule out the lines. So this is the bust, this is the waist, and this is the hip line. So now we are going to draft out the front first before I will now go ahead to draft the back. So now for me, 25 inches now is where the hip stops. But then I will come down again by a few inches just to mark out the, the length for the front part. So instead of using 25 inches, instead of it stopping at the hip, I will have to come down again by 2 inches, which is 27 inches for me for the front. So 27 inches now is where I'm going to mark out for the length for my front. So this is now the length. Okay. So right now for the front now, this is the center front here. So we are going to be marking one point, sorry, 2.5 inches out. First of all, before we even begin anything. Now this 2.5 inches is the point that we are going to use to put our button. So I'm not going to be using this part. I'm going to start from one here. So this is one, two. Point five. Okay, so you can also do this too on, on your paper. This is 2.5, 2.5. So I'm going to mark everything down to the end, 2.5. So now every marking that we are going to do is going to start from this line. So this is now our new center front. So the next thing I'm going to do is, so from this point, I'm going to mark 3 inches in here, which is the standard for the neckline. Then I'm also going to come down here by 3 inches. What I'm going to do is to roll line and then connect them together using my curve ruler. So the next I'm going to do now is to measure out my shoulder measurement. So my shoulder measurement is 15 inches. Now 15 inches divided by 2 is going to give me 7.5. So from this point still, I'm going to mark out 7 5 inches here so i'm going to mark that here now i'm going to come over to that point and i'm going to mark down half inch 
I won't take one inch. Some people take one inch. If you want to take one inch, fine. But me, I want to be using half inch here. That's why I have to mark out half inch. Now I'm going to connect these dots here to this point. So once that is done, the next thing is to measure around the armhole. Now when you measure around your, your armhole, whatever it is you have, you're going to start from here to mark it down. So for me, I have 8 inches. So I'm going to mark out 8 inches here. Then I'm going to connect this dot from this point to this 8 inches. So the next thing is just to turn my ruler like this. And then mark this point out, which will now form the chest line. So this here right now is my new chest line. The next thing now is for me to find the midpoint at this place. So since this was already 8 inches, I already know that the midpoint here is going to be 4 inches. So just in case yours is not 8 inches, fold your tape like this and then mark out the center. So this is the center now. Now from this small dots here, you're going to be coming in by half inch. Okay. So now, instead of confusing yourself with all this, this is from here to this point. This is one inch to this place. This is half at the center. So I'm going to be placing this here. Then I'm going to be marking half inch here inwards. Now I'm going to come to this other line. Then I'm going to be marking 1.5. This is 1. This is 0.5 here now. So I'm going to be marking 1.5 inch here. The next thing I'm going to do is to try and connect this line. From this point from this point here to this place now if you don't have a curve ruler I would advise you make use of um, one inch so you can place your tape like this and then you mark one inch here now once you try to connect it together it's still going to come in as the same thing so look at it now so connecting this to this point is still the same thing okay now we are going to use our ruler and then mark from this point to the end here So this is now the armhole for the front. So in drawing out the armhole for the back, all you need to do is to place your, your curve ruler like this. And then you try to connect this dot to this particular place here. So make sure that it aligns very well. So this is now the armhole for the back. So now because this is a shape, you wouldn't need to use that. Okay, except it's actually a shape that you have to use that. Then you can go ahead and then insert your your that here from the boss to the hip line, All right? So since I'm not going to be using that in this very shaped tutorial, what I'm going to do now is just to divide my boss measurement into four and then mark it out. So my boss measurement is 36 inches. Now dividing that by four is going to give me nine. So starting from this point, I'm going to mark out nine inches here. Coming to the waistline, my waist measurement is 28 inches. Dividing that by 4 is going to give me 7. So I'm going to mark out 7 inches. Then coming to my hip line, my hip is 39 inches. So dividing that by 4 is going to give me, so going to give me 9.8. This is 9 here, 0. 0.5, 6, 7, 8. So what I'm going to do now is just to connect the dots together. So now using my curve ruler, I'm going to try to smoothen this place out, okay? So that I wouldn't just have like a sharp bend. Now, this measurement now is a very fitted measurement. So there is no seam allowance here for now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add seam allowances. So however um, big you want the lady, the shirt to be on your body, though not so big, but however allowance you want to put for the shirt, this is where you're going to do it now. So for me, by the side, I'm going to be putting 2 inches by the side. Because I don't want it to be so fitted. So I'm going to try to put 2 inches by the side. So this is 2 inches. This is 2 inches. And also this is 2 inches. So what I'm going to do now is just to try and connect the dots together okay guys so coming to this point what we are going to do is you know our normal body is not as straight as what we drew out so we are going to turn out turn around our ruler like this 
okay what you're going to do is you're going to try to smoothen out from this place down to the end all right so in doing that i'm going to from here try to mark out this place like this and i'm also going to come here and also do the same thing So this is now to help smoothen out this place. And this hard line now is no longer of use for us. The first sharp line here is no longer of use for us. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to come over to the hip line. The hip line now I'm going to mark 2.5 inches from this place upwards. So this one now is optional. This is this will determine the slit that you have by the side of your shirt. So if you want it to be a bit lower, then you can now take the 2.5 inches and then start it from where you have the length of the shirt. So but for me, I want it to be a bit up. So that's why I'm taking it from the hip line. So from this place now, I'm marking it out there. Now I'm going to come over to this place. And you're going to mark 3 inches here. Okay. So from these three inches now is what I'm going to use to connect to this place. So this now is the opening for my front. Alright. So it's also the same thing, also the same thing here for the for the seam allowance. So this is now the opening for the front. So I'm going to level this front. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do now is to cut it out. So I'm not going to add seam allowance here until when I want to cut it out of my fabric. So it's optional. If you want to add seam allowance, you can add it at the same time. But I'm not going to add seam allowance here anymore because whatever it's here is going to save as a seam allowance and also the extra inch that I have, I have added. So I'm just going to use only half inch for this place. Okay, so before we continue, I want to explain something. So if you look at this now, I've only cut out the armhole for the back, leaving the one for the front. I haven't touched this one yet. Now I'm coming down to the neckline. Let us call it, let us mark the neckline for the back before we cut it out. So from this point, I'm going to be marking one inch down, one inch down here. Then I'm also going to use my ruler and then connect this the dots from this place back to where it was here. So this is now the neckline for the back. Now I'm coming to the shoulder. The shoulder point here, I'm going to be coming down here by one inch. So I'm going to be marking one inch down here. Now we are going to take this one inch out. But then we are going to replace this one inch at the back okay so you're going to take this out and then replace it at the back so now we'll proceed in cutting out the neckline for the back okay so with this now you're going to use this to cut out the back first before we finish up for the front so for the back before we begin i'm going to be marking 1.5 inches at this point here which will now be our starting point 1.5 inches at this point here then we are going to roll line and then connect them together. So to cut out the back, we are going to bring in the front pattern. And bringing in the front pattern, we'll have to fold in these 2.5 inches that we marked out here because we are not going to be needing it while cutting out the, the back. So I'm just going to fold this inwards. Then I'm going to place it like this. Okay. So make sure that it aligns with the center back very well. Now... We are going to mark out the neckline here for the back. So let's cut this out. So we're going to mark out the center back here, the neckline for the back rather. Then we'll mark out the neckline, we'll mark out the armhole. Every single thing is going to follow the way it is in the front. The only difference between the front and the back is that we are, I'm going to extend the back by four inches here. So I'm going to be extending by 4 inches, but coming up, everything has to come and align where this one is. So I'm just extending this by 4 inches because I want it to be that long. So if you want yours not to be so long, then you don't, you don't need to go down by 4 inches. You can just stop here or you can, you can just add few inches. 
so after tracing the other parts out i'm just going to come here and mark out the four inches here so that you guys can see and follow up with what i'm doing So this is how the back part is going to be. So that is it for the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and then cut it out from this place. So coming back to the neckline. So remember the 1.5 inches that we add here in front that we are going to cut out. We are going to mark the 1.5 inches out here. And we are going to mark that from the shoulder. This is 1.5 inches. There. This is 1.5. This is also 1.5. So that will not be our new shoulder measurements. So with the ruler, I'm just going to try and curve this back to where it was. So this is now our new shoulder here. So now we can cut this out for the front and also cut it out like this for the back. So after cutting it out, this is how it's going to look like. So this is the front and this is the back. So once you place the front here like this, the back will now bend over. The shoulder will come here. Okay. So this is where the shoulder, this is how the shoulder is going to look like. It's going to come over to the front part. It won't just stop directly on the shoulder. So that's why we are adding the extra to the back. So what we are going to do now is just to cut this out on our fabric. Now, while cutting it out on your fabric, don't forget to add half inch sewing allowance here. If you don't want to add half inch here, there's no problem because this already has a half inch for sewing allowance. Okay. Then also this you can have the sorry you can add the sewing allowance here. Okay. And also small sewing allowance here and also at the back to be able to hold these two plates together. And also don't forget that you have to open this place up while cutting out the front. Make sure that this place is included while cutting the front out. So let us draft out the sleeves. So for the sleeve, from the beginning here, we are going to divide our bust measurements by 10. Now in dividing your bust measurement by 10, my own bust is 39 inches. So that means 39 inches divided by 10 is going to give me 3.9 inches so i'm going to come from here and i'm going to mark 3.9 inches almost four inches even so i'm just going to take four inches directly from this place then i'm going to roll a line and connect these dots together next thing is to bring in our front and our back um, pattern paper now here's what I'm, I'm going to do with the front pattern paper i'm going to place my tape like this and i'm going to measure precisely around the armhole for the front then i'm also going to do the same thing too to the back so it has to be very careful while doing this to make sure it's actually very precise so with this now i have 10 inches now let's come over to the back from the 10 inches mark we are going to start from there so start from the beginning here then we'll go around Now I have 22 inches. Now this 22 inches now, we are going to subtract half inch from this 22 inches. Then we are going to mark out, we are going to divide this into two. Once we divide this into two, we are going to be having 10.5 inches. Okay. Now let's take this out. So remember we have 10.5 inches. So we are going to come over here from the beginning point here. We are going to move our stuff to this point. Okay. Then from the starting point, we are going to mark the 10.5 inches here. Then we are going to connect this line back to this place. The next thing I'm going to do is to find the midpoint of this line. So the midpoint of this line, this is this now divided by 2. This is the midpoint of the line. Now we are going to also find midpoint of this very line also. So now this is 5 inches. So dividing this by 2, we are going to mark out the midpoint here. And we are also going to come over here and also find the midpoint of this other line also. 
So you need to mark this out. Now, once you found out the midpoints of this and this, with this other line now, we are going to be coming up here by half an inch. So I'm going to be using one inch. I'm going to place the half inch here. Then I'm going to mark from this point to this point. This is half inch here. While these other points here, I'm going to be coming down by a quarter of an inch. So from this one inch here, I'm going to be coming down by this. This is a quarter of an inch. It's not up to half. The next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to try as much as possible. From this, from this place, you're going to mark it like this. down to the end so this now becomes our armhole this is how i mark out my own armhole to the end the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark out the length of the sleeve so from the beginning part here i'm going to mark out 25 inches which is the length of my sleeve now let's connect these lines together so automatically this means that the line here and the line here should be the same thing so what I have here, this is 10 inches. What I have here, okay, this is 10 inches here. So from this point now, we are going to be coming, I'm going to be coming down by one inch. From this 10 inches mark, you need to come down by one inches here. Okay, now I'm going to connect this dot to this place. So this is now our new sleeve measurement. So guys, I notice that coming in here by one inch is going to still make this big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it smaller a bit. So I'm going to be coming in by two inches here. Okay. So I use two inches. So I'm not going to connect the two inches down to that point. So this now is going to be the new, the new sleeves. And in these sleeves now, we have the seam allowance inside here. Everything is inside here. So there's no need to add seam allowance anymore on this so guys this is the front piece so i finished cutting off for the front and i've also added a quarter inch seam allowance here sorry half inch seam allowance here and also a quarter inch on top here okay but remember that the front is on full so the front is is double okay the front is open so don't forget to notch this place and also the same place here before I cut out the back piece, from the shoulder here, I'm going to be marking down 8.5 inches here at the back. Okay, so I'm going to be marking down 8.5 inches at this point, and also 8.5 inches here. So just connect that line and draw them together. So this 8.5 inches line now is going to be the marking where we will have the joining at the back i don't know if you understand but this we are going to be having our joining at the back that is why i have this 8.5 inches mark here so before cutting out your back before cutting out the back piece this is what you're going to do you're going to measure out so you're going to leave out two inches here so this is directly two inches at the back now there's a reason why we are going to leave that these two inches you're going to come back to this the next thing we are going to do is to fold this one in because we're not going to be needing this while cutting out the two inches mark so we are going to fold this in then you still mark out the two inches here okay so if you have an erasable um, biro or pencil you can use that just to mark it out so that you'll be sure that every single place is two inches that we left so it should be even to the end now what you're going to do now is to go ahead and then cut it out from here still with the two inches in place so this is how it's going to look, look like once you're done cutting it out so don't forget to add a quarter inch on top here so i can be able to add this to the to the up part and also don't forget to add quarter or half inch seam allowance towards the lower part so before cutting out the top part of the back which is this area please make sure that your fabric is on fold okay so this my own fabric now is on fold now i'm going to fold it over like this if your fabric is enough this way you can always fold it like this okay so mine is not enough towards that side so that's why i'm folding it like this 
<clears throat> because it has to be double that's why i'm doing that so i have to bring this in again this place has to be on fold they you won't have to have like two pieces like one two here this place has to be on fold like fold okay so please place it here like this then you're going to cut it out on the neckline here around here then when you get here you're going to add a quarter inch seam allowance and then cut it out so once you're done cutting your own out it should look like mine so as you can see i've only left out the quarter inch on top here so i can use this to add to the to join with the front shoulder and now with mine i have quarter inch left also here so i'm able to join this to the down part of the of the back so that is it for the back part so i'll finish cutting out my sleeve so this is how it's looking like now we are going to open this up so in opening it up this is what you're going to have now this is my right hand side and this is my left now for my right hand side this is the front this is what is going this is the part that's going to be attached to the front shoulder now for my left hand this is the part that's also going to be attached to the front shoulder so you have to put this over your own shoulder like this so once you put it over your shoulder you will not know which part is going to face the front then i need to mark that that area what i'm going to do is that i'm going to come in here i'm going to place this over like this then i'm going to come in with this i'm going to bring in my scissors and i'm going to cut this out a bit So following the way it was before i'm just going to bring this down so this is now this is the front okay so now on the sleeves down this is the part that we just cut out as the front while this is the back so on the side that is the back we are going to come down here and then from this point now i'm going to mark one inch this one inch now is my sewing allowance so i'm going to start from this one inch i'm going to mark 2.5 inches inwards here now once i mark the 2.5 inches inward here i'm going to turn my tape then i'm going to mark three inches here so this point now is going to be the opening for the sleeve so just cut it open here okay so this is now the opening for the sleeve so this now is our sewing allowance one inch sewing allowance